Hey girls, thank you for joining us tonight. Guess what? If we were actually having girls golf practice, traditional girls golf practice, we'd be rained out tonight. So I'm glad that we can at least get together on the webinar because if it was real life, we'd be rained out. Anyway, I hope you liked our dance party because tonight's E word is energize. So we want to welcome everybody and we have a fun night planned for you. So Coach Ann and Coach Erica, they want to welcome you too. Hey girls, welcome. Glad to, that everybody could join us tonight. So we found this video and thought it was perfect for tonight because even though we are all secluded in our homes and everything, we are still one world and our whole world is facing the same pandemic at the same time. So people over in Japan and Europe are also going through what we are going through, girls. So it's we're not in this alone. Exactly, exactly. So um, we so we had a little dance party to start off with. I know we got um, a couple of um, dance party videos yesterday from Phoebe and Piper, which Coach Eric will play here in just a second. And I know we got a cut one or two in just like a just real recently. We promise we will play those probably next week for you guys, for for you girls. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do Phoebe and Piper now. Ooh, that's not the right screen. Phoebe and Piper now. <laughs> this one. We'll get them. Oh, hold on, guys. Talk about something else. Okay, okay. Well, hey, while we're talking about something else, um, I want to know, how are you girls coming along on your activity sheet? Um, type in the comments, cause, uh, or raise your hand, whatever, but um, we want to hear from you. So I have all these really cool prizes. Um, this is one of the prizes I have. It is like a cooler pack. So when you are on the golf course, you can put a sandwich or a bottle of water, an apple in here. It's got something you can hook on your golf bag. I have this in purple. Look how cool that is. And in green, I gotta say, I think the green one's a little bit bigger. You can put a few more things in it. And it's got a little uh, back zipper too. So see, it says girls golf. And I have shoelaces. I have a lot of shoelaces. I have all these awesome bracelets that we can uh, use and if you have a big dog because I know my little dogs don't like it frisbee you can go outside and toss a frisbee with your dog or I, a sibling huh or a sibling or a sibling that's true see coach needs to think of that and a bag tag so you can put this on your bag put your name on the back of it so I have all kinds of cool prizes and we want to give these out they're doing absolutely no good here so who's done how are you girls coming along on your bingo? Does anybody have bingo yet? Oh, we do have a bingo. We do have a bingo. Um, woo, ooh, mm. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Piper says Piper. she has one. Piper said she has one. Okay, Piper, you get to pick out a gift. So just tell us what kind of prize you want, and we will get it to you. And then we're also going to send Piper and Phoebe a prize for sand sending in a dance video as well. Absolutely. Good job. Yeah, everybody that sends in a video gets a prize. So just let us know what you want. Um, Coach Ann gets a prize because she sent in a video. And I do a video every week, but I only get one prize. We, you ready? We have a bingo for Miss Kaya. She engaged with family and... Um, empower herself and she cleaned her bedroom good job and i can't read the bottom one. Oh, she made a girls golf video yes she did nice. awesome 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 and yes piper coach ann will you make a note of that um yes i will so <laughs> piper wants a green bag and phoebe wants a purple purple cooler bag kaya what what do you what would you like you can type that in the comments. We will get those to you. Oh, so cool. I have. Anybody else have a bingo? We're, it's not too late. You can still work on it. I mean, this isn't the end. So next week we'll ask again who got a bingo. And if because we are old and we forgot, uh, I take Coach Erica out of that, com that statement, by the way. But um, let us know. You can type in the comments that you got a bingo. But we'll try to remember because if you got a bingo, we want to know because we want to get your prize. Uh, did anybody do the puzzle? 
that puzzle that was on the activity sheets of uh, chipping and pitching and full swing. Did anybody do that? I didn't. All right. Well, guess who did? How do you like me now? I what? cut out all those little pieces of paper. I colored them. I personally think some of my outfits are really hip, like the orange and pink over here. And then I have a uh, purple and green over here. So check me out. Very cool. And I am going to take the purple cooler bag. I am taking a prize for this. Uh, this was time consuming and it was very fun. It kept me entertained for hours, especially because I had to print two out. But anyway, so um, what about the random acts of kindness? Did anybody do the random acts of kindness? And remember, you can uh, raise your hand and we can call on you and you can talk too. Look at that. We already have one. Okay. Um, um, do Caitlin, I believe it is. You are permitted to talk. Um, we are going to get flowers for our neighbor's birthday. That is awesome. That is so nice. Her birthday is May 2nd. Oh, good. Perfect time for flowers, too. The pretty ones are coming out, the spring ones. Oh, Corey helped her mom with chores. Good job. Good job, Corey. Nice. Coach Ann, do you have any random acts? I filled out my random acts of kindness. So um, I picked up a couple groceries for some friends of mine. And um, I made vegetable soup and gave it to some other friends of mine. So that's that's what I did. Awesome, awesome. And I see Mackenzie said that she helped the homeless. Mackenzie, would you be willing to talk and explain that more? She's not shy. Yeah. Okay, you are allowed to talk, my dear. You have to unmute yourself. Sorry. Okay, so right now I am in the car actually getting food like to make lunch bags for the homeless um, for I think it's ladies um, and I'm putting like chips and two sandwiches and then like feminine products and like soap and stuff and then we're going to drop it off to the homeless and make them happy. That's fantastic. That so That's cool. a wonderful idea. Great job. Thank you. Good for you. We miss you. I miss you guys too. Good job. Okay, I have a I have a dance video ready to go. Okay, and Mackenzie and whoever else is like doing the random acts of kindness and letting us know, please also make sure you let us know what you want. Yeah, Mackenzie, Corey. And you don't have to do it this week because like Mackenzie, if you're out and about, you can let us know next week. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, look at that. <laughs> Hi, good job. Love it, love it, love it. Absolutely. And uh, that definitely is deserving of a prize. Don't forget, girls, we even have these super cool, I love them myself. But Coach Denise has a lot of tennis shoes. Where? Where's the camera? Right there. We even have these super cool uh, shoelaces. So don't forget them too. Yeah, those are those are nice. They're um they're white, correct? With like the girls' golf logo on them. Yeah, they're yes. really neat. Yes, yes, yes. So um okay, I'm gonna try to open these up while you girls, so we can see them a little closer. But yep, just like Coach Ann said. See, they're white. Can you see it okay with the, um, that light is yep. kind of right yeah. behind it. Are the E-words on there or just the Girls Golf logo? Just Girls Golf logo and the LPGA. Okay, perfect. I like yeah. it. So yeah, we don't want your shoes falling off of you when you do get back out from social distancing. Okay, so um, who enjoyed uh, that video that we played at the end last time? The We Clap For You video. I don't know if it came through really well for, on all your screens. I hope so, the sound and everything. But um, we uh, made a video for you, uh, all of us coaches and staff at the first tee. So no laughing at us, but we want to play our video for you, okay? One moment, please. Okay. <laughs> Someone's not on top of things over here today. I had my bingo card pulled up. Oh. Well, Which is good. Nice too. 
I want this one. And my girl's coach Denise, and I want you to know that I clap for you for making that. Oh, you can hear it. Right I understand Bye. you can hear it. We clap. I'm just, I just teasing you. Hey, girls, it's coach. all right from the beginning. Here we go, girls. My girl's coach Denise, and I want you to know that I clap for you for making the best of the situation right now. Bye. We clap for you. Hey girls, it's Coach Luann. I hope you're having a good day. We miss seeing all of you. Hope you're practicing your golf. Enjoy. We clap for you. You guys are being very brave. I know it. Thanks. We clap for you. I clap for you, girls golfers, because when we're together, you make me smile. We clap for you and your dedication to your schoolwork to your first two girls golf lessons and to everything else that you put your heart and mind to. We clap for you. Hey girls, this is coach Kristen. Just want to let you know that we're thinking about you, hoping you are being safe and strong uh, with your families at home during this time. And we're thinking of you and we clap for you. Take care. Hi girls, it's coach Sue here. Just wanted to make sure you guys are staying safe and we look forward to seeing you on the golf course soon. In the meantime, we clap for you. We clap for you. Hi girls, I clap for each of you for being unique in who you are. See you soon. Now we want you girls to make help us make a video and we are more than willing to bribe you with prizes and uh, if you get the green cooler pack for doing one thing there are lots of other prizes you can still pick from so uh, we are definitely not above bribing so we want you to send us in a eight to 10 second video, it doesn't even have to be long, of you clapping for each other. If you wanna say something like we clap for each other, we clap for you, we clap to encourage, great. If you don't wanna say anything, you just wanna clap and show your support for all your other girls golfers, please do. We would love to have a video that we have, the LPGA did a video, the coaches did a video, and then we'd like to end our little video series of the we clap for you theme with you girls, because you girls are the reason why we're here. And just to review, when we do clap, clapping is energizing. If somebody is up on stage doing a performance and you clap for them, it encourages them. It is uh, very encouraging in the golf swing. And if you're playing against somebody and you're in a competition and they hit a great shot, it's okay to clap for them. So um, it's fun to clap and it's something that we don't do enough of. So we want to really encourage you to make us a video and encourage each other. One suggestion, one suggestion on that if you do send in a video which we totally want everybody we would love to have everybody do that if 100 percent participation yeah if we could have that by like sunday that would be awesome and you can send that to our girls golf um email address which is on the website so that would be really really great if we could get those and coach we natalie would love it if they were all done horizontal but we just want you to do a video. I don't care if it's upside down, just so you send it in. We do have one for a preview. You guys want to see it? Yes. A teaser. I love it. Here's a short tease. All right. Thank you to Phoebe and Piper for that video. That's awesome. They even have a quiet golf clap down too. Yeah. Yes, yes. They've definitely been to a lot of tournaments. Yes. So good, good. You can do a you can do a nice quiet one or you can do a loud one. We don't care, just so you do one. So um speaking of clapping being energizing, our dance party being energizing, especially on a gray, rainy afternoon that we've had today. Uh Coach Erica is going to put up our slide for energizing and we want to talk about energizing for a little bit. So we just want to ask your ideas of how can you get energized and how can you 
energize somebody else. So one way obviously is our clapping video because we'll clap for each other. And once we have it on video, we can play it for each other again and again and have it to encourage and energize us. Any other suggestions of how you can get energized or how you can be an energizer? You, go, you can go ahead and type it in the comments um, in the chat if you can. Or raise your hand. I, I know, or raise your hand, yeah. I know I get energized um, just getting outside and getting some fresh air. That, that gets me moving, I think, so. And don't worry, we're still gonna do a warm up. Uh, so yeah. that'll get you energized. <laughs> That's coming. Anybody else? Oh, we have hands raised. Sorry, guys. Five different screens here. Okay, um, Piper, you are going to be allowed to talk in a second. Here you go. Um, you can energize other people by like spreading kindness rocks or teen and putting them in your neighbor's yard or drawing on sidewalks for for your neighbors too with like kind messages. Nice. Those are awesome, girls. Kaya, you are up. If you can unmute yourself. Um, how I get energized is by doing exercise. Very good. Okay, and Caitlin, you are... Um, you can do sports. What kind of sports do you play? Um, gymnastics and, um, well, I used to play soccer and I run in the morning. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Cool. Um, Corey wrote on the chat that she just, just being active gets her energized. I love those suggestions, girls. Yeah. Any ideas how you can energize somebody else? Like if it's kind of a, like today it was a rainy afternoon if someone's kind of gloomy in the house or not feeling all up and chipper, is there a way that you can energize them? How about maybe sending somebody some flowers? You might pick up, pick them up, give them a kind of a boost for the day. Did somebody send you flowers recently, Coach Ann? They did. My daughter, my oldest daughter, sent me flowers the other day. And did that energize you? It did. Yes, I was not having a great day, and that really helped. So, definitely, I think that's a good idea. And now with all the spring flowers coming out, you can go pick somebody some flowers. Just don't pick them out of your neighbor's yard. <laughs> Kaya has her hand up, so. Oh, good, good. Kaya, you can unmute yourself and talk. How I energize others is I play with them. Oh, very good. These are great suggestions, girls. I like it. Anybody else? All right. These are all really, really good suggestions. So I like them all. And I know that um, just being on a Zoom video call with some of my friends, that energizes me. Uh, we get to see each other in our homes and um, we might have a snack while we're having being on the call and just talking and catching up. And it, it's quite fun, fun. So that energizes me when I get to do, to do that. I know. Ooh, um, can I go back to the... Um what gets you energized? No. No? <laughs> of course you can. What about healthy eating? Oh, yeah. Very good. And I heard through a little grapevine that Coach Ann is very good about making a fruit salad. Oh, I heard that too. I heard Coach Ann is very good. Yes. So um, I did a little video. Um, I know we've done kind of the fruit thing at Girls Golf several times, but 
kind of a little bit different uh, variation on this and kind of threw everything all together. So I will show this to you. Uh, where are we at? Here we go. All right. <laughs> hey, Ann, you're, you have to turn your volume up or something. One way to do that is with healthy snacks. Today we're going to make a uh, little fruit salad, just uh, with whatever fruits that I happen to have on hand at home um, today. I've got some grapes, pineapple, apple, orange, bananas, and blueberries and blackberries. Um, you can definitely use whatever you have on hand um, at home. Make sure, first of all, ask your parents if it's okay to um, make some salad or cut up some fruit um, in bite-sized pieces that you could uh, use to help energize your body. So I've already washed all of um, my fruits and now what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut some of them. Start with some apples. Again, I've got some pineapple. I'm just kind of use it in a little chunk of bite-sized pieces. Uh, fruit salad. Let me know what your favorite fruits are. I like oh, pretty much any kind of fruit, um, but other things I think you can use here strawberries, watermelon, cantaloupe, kiwi, anything that you like, any kind of berries, anything. Okay, so Did you mute it, Ann? This is the quiet portion of fruit <laughs> salad making. Now we're just going to mix up all the fruits together. Again, add whatever fruits that you guys like. Now that your fruit salad is done, you're ready to serve it. A couple of times I know we've done some fruit snack um, type things at our girls' golf session. And one of, I think you girls favorite was fruit honey or like vanilla yogurt. So you can uh, mix those in, kind of serve those on the side, however you would like to do that. Now, I want, you, want to know from you, what is your favorite snack? Okay, so if you can, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what the volume prop situation, I had it up as, much as it would go, I guess. Um, I don't know. So if you could tell me like what some of your favorite um, healthy snacks are or things that you would add into the fruit salad or any anything that you guys like. Not, you know, obviously we all like candy and chips and that kind of thing, but um, other things that are more healthy, that would be really good. Anything? I just went to the store today, and because of your video, I bought a lot of fruit. Nice. See how you energized Erica when she went to the grocery store? <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. I also, oh, I was going to say, I also like strawberries and um, kiwi a lot, but I didn't get in, I didn't, didn't have any of that at home, so did not get into the uh, fruit salad. I got strawberries and clementines. I never thought about putting oranges in a fruit salad. Yeah. So, got some apples. Very good. Oh, I'm all about the honey and the yogurt, so adding the fruit is just a bonus. <laughs> I've been making fruit smoothies in the morning, so got to get that stocked back up. Nice. Very good. So, I think um, we're almost ready for Coach Denise to talk about the full swing. Um, one thing I did want to share real quick is I know we talked about the vision boards um, last last week, and the I, the only one did did Coach Denise have one? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. The only one that um, we got one from. Yeah, we, we got two. Oh, we got two. There's um, a second. Okay, I'll, I'll put pre as, oh, I can't share it until you're done. So, soon oh, as, I'm sorry. go ahead and then um, 
we'll share. <laughs> nope, stop. I don't think Priya's on here, so I was going to have her talk about it, but I don't think she's on tonight. We got one from Kaya that has... And Kaya likes watermelon in a fruit salad, which is awesome. Campfires and water and her brother. And it won't let me zoom out. Family and pizza. Okay. Love those it... ones. Okay, I know, uh, I, I don't, honestly, I don't remember what, uh, here I can share um, Priya's real quick here. Where is it? All right, so she has, um, the only thing I can see is Michigan. So apparently she likes Michigan. I don't know about that. Um, looks like she likes to travel. And then just, she loves herself and yeah, it looks like a lot of just fun, different things, hanging out with friends, that type of thing. So just one thing that you girls could do, um, like I know we showed a couple of the vision boards last week, but you guys can all work on that. And if you get um, one done, go ahead and send that in to us. That'd be great. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, I know now is the part you all have been waiting for. We are going to get moving, and I know you're tired, and you're like, ah, oh, Coach Denise, it's 629, it's rainy out, we don't want to get moving. Tonight's word is energize, and we got to warm up, and if we warm up, it's going to get our bodies going. So I want everybody, and I mean everybody, if your mom's with you, I want her up. If your sister, your brother's with you, I want everybody up. Now, Coach Erica's going to put the slide up for warm-up time. And you'll see, I have got a lot of exercises on there. I mean, a lot. Um, this could wear you out. But what I want you to do is um, I want you to pick some. And when I yell wild card, I want you to type in the chat what you want to do. If you want to do something that's not up here, that's fine. Type in something that you want to do. So um, if you don't, we're just going to keep doing the last one we did until we get somebody to type something in. Even if that's Coach Erica, because Coach Erica moves me along, which she needs to. That's, that um, helps me a lot. So anyway, um, I'm going to start them out with a side stretch. So I'm going to have to get up. And I want you girls to get up. I know it's rainy and we're moving slow, but a side stretch is going to feel so good. So, oh my word, Millie wants to do palms to the floor. All right, Millie. First of all, let's get our side stretch over and to the other side over oh do you feel that right up the side here one more time back this way okay one more time this way all right i'm gonna need some more suggestions of what we're gonna do now let's do millie's suggestion put our palms right on the floor so when coach denise goes down you won't be able to see but here we're gonna go right down on the floor put our palms all the way down what do you say? Let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Anybody have any suggestions? Okay, Lauren wants to do toe raises. Now how I was envisioning toe raises is we stand with our feet flat on the ground and we just up on our toes and then our heels back down. Up on our toes, heels back down. Oh. Oh my word, who wants to do burpees? I should have you get on and lead them. Burpees. Okay, we will do five burpees, okay? I forget how do you do a burpee, I think I know. Okay, ready? Ready, go. One, two. That's not a burpee. No. Oh, what's a burpee then? Is that where you go down into plank? Yeah. Yeah. Girls try to count coach in these. Okay, ready? <laughs> body twist. All right, let's just twist our body because we got to get, because she's going to get her heart rate back. Now we are working out our major muscles today because we are going to do full swing. And with full swing, we want to make sure we are ready to go. So that is that for working out. Thank you girls for uh, participating. I hope you did. 
I hope you got a little bit of uh, energy going and you got a little energized. So I want us to look at the full swing. Oh my gosh, push-ups. We will save push-ups for next week, I promise. We might let you lead them. If you want to give us a video of you doing push-ups, we will let you lead the workout next week. I like so, it. Um, yeah, anybody who wants to lead the workout next week is more than welcome to. Um, just send us in a couple exercises that you do, and Coach Denise will be happy to turn that over to you. So let's look at um, the full swing. So let's pull up that slide real quick. So a lot of words. Coach Denise isn't so much about the words, but I didn't know how else to explain it. But um, these slides are all on the uh, First Tees website, and you girls can print them out and take a look at them later. We don't have to read every single thing. But basically, in all of our stance, we want to make sure that we are a capital letter A. So from the top of our head to the outside of our feet, we're a capital letter A. And um, these are just things I'm going to go over in the video, but I have them here on the um, slide for you to have a visual as well. So please uh, make sure you print these off if you like and refer back to them. And uh, Coach Erica is going to do our first slide with no golf club. That way you can do it in the house. Hold on. Oop, wrong slide. Here we go. Hi golfers, Coach Denise here. And I have some full swing tips for us to do at home. Now, these first tips are gonna be without a golf club. So, I want us to get our posture. Remember, we're a capital letter A from our head to the top of our head to the outside of our feet. And I want us to look at our posture from the side. So, from the top of our A, and from here, Okay, so that's the that's how I want us to have our stance. For our arms, I don't want to start reaching for the, for the golf club. There's nothing athletic about this. And we don't want our arms to go up against the body. We want to be able to have flow side to side. So again, we're not reaching, but I'm right at our sides. So that in mind, using our thumb as a club, see how I have a triangle here. From here, here, here. Now if we have the golf club, it's a lot. Right now, with no golf clubs, we have a triangle. I want us to maintain that triangle throughout our swing. The next thing I want us to imagine while we're in this posture is that we have two brick walls on each side of us, okay? And the reason I want us to imagine that is because when we swing, sometimes we swing super hard and we lean over the brick wall this way. I don't want us to lean over the brick wall this way. And then a lot of times we do what they call a sway. And when we come back, now we're over the brick wall this way. So if we have two brick walls on each side of us, what that point is, is to turn inside the brick wall. So from here, we're simply going to turn. Get our triangle back. We're going to swing back. Not over the brick wall. And come on through. I'm not over the brick wall. So try that at home. It's very simple. And if you try it through the mirror, it'll really help you see what you're doing. Thank you. All right, if you girls have any questions on that whatsoever, please feel free to type them in the chat. But like I said, that is so good to do at home in a mirror because so many times we think we're doing the motion right. We think that we've got it, but we don't. So um, it's good to look in the mirror and see, am I leaning over one way or the other? Um, am I a triangle? We don't want to be a chicken wing. We want a nice straight triangle or a V, however you want to think of it. So, you know, we think we're, we're doing it right, but then look, our elbow's out. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And if you ever want to have your mom video your swing and send it into our Girls Golf email, I'm happy to take a look at it, at it and give you some tips on how to change it up if it, if it needs it. So I now, raised. pardon me? Kaya has her hand raised, so we're gonna let her talk. Okay, Kaya. Where did you take the video? I took it in my golf room. I have a golf room, and um, 
it's actually one of uh, my garage, part of my garage, and that's where I took it. So I have plenty of room if I do swing a club in there. Nice. So um, were those birds real or were those piped into the video? Those were real because there are always bluebirds flying over Coach Denise's house and home when she's doing golf. It reminded me of watching the Masters. <laughs> so let's do the video with the club. Hi golfers, now we're going to work on the full swing with the golf club. So I prefer you do this outside. If you do it inside, make sure one, you have your parents' permission, and two, you have a nice big area that you can swing a golf club in. Make sure there are no little brothers or sisters, dogs or cats, your mom's area so if you want to be able to swing and height wise swing so i prefer you do this outdoors but if it's bad outside you want to do it inside you're too tough now our posture doesn't change keep that the same and we go ahead and grip the club with our palms facing each other i'm using an interlocking grip you can also use the 10 finger grip whichever is more comfortable for you so see how across my chest down my hands i am a triangle the golf club is the line i want us to maintain the triangle from the golf now, this is the end of the club. Who knows what the end of the club is called? If you do, text it in the uh, comments. I want us to keep the end of the golf club in the center of our body. So, the reason why is because when this is our first move, and we swing back, it's very hard for us to square the club face back up at impact, and a lot of our shots will go out to the right. Now, sometimes what happens is when we start like this with our first move, our hand will flip around, and most of our shots will go out to the left. So to keep, the, keep consistent in your golf swing at impact, keep the club in the center of your body. So from here, our takeaway is going to be our core and our club together. Just like that. That's our first move. Not this. Then from here, we're just going to go ahead and swing it up. Now notice, I'm over the, I'm not over the wall either way. Is straight. It's not stiff and locked. It's straight has a slight bend in it. And notice my right hand. It folds. My elbow is pointing down to the ground. My elbow is not out here. It's down to the ground. You can keep both your elbows down to the ground. It's going to keep you more consistent with your club face. We don't want it out here. So we have a flat golf club. We want our elbows pointed down to the ground and keep the club in position. From here, we just let the club fall and swing on through. Those birds were piped in. So anyway, um, let me know if you have any questions whatsoever on the golf swing. Um, with the iron, we will have the golf ball in the middle of our stance. If we're going to use a wood uh, or a driver, we'll have it more toward the front foot, inside the front foot, but more toward the front foot. So these are things that I'm happy to take a look at if you have a video, if you have any questions. Bye, thank you for joining us. And um, if you have any questions whatsoever about those swings, please, 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 please let us know and try them at home outside and uh, or let, if you don't have a golf club inside at the mirror. I think you'll have fun with it. And I know we had some um, sound issues on the video, those videos and then on the uh, healthy snacks one, but we will get those posted um, probably sometime tomorrow or Friday. I'm not, I'm not exact one of those days. Okay, okay. And then next week's E word, uh, we saved one of the best for last is exercise. So even though we do a little warm up every time before we have our training session, which you should always get into the habit of doing, uh, we're going to talk about full, full on exercise next week. We're going to go over a couple different stretches that you can do before you work out that are golf specific related. We're also going to talk about um, some actual exercises um, that you can do to build up your muscles during this time. The core is so important to build up for your golf swing. We all want to muscle our golf swing and like, you know, swing as hard as we can, but it's really our center. It's our core that moves the golf club. Our arms just follow along. So we really want to talk about building up our core. 
And for those of you who remember Coach Claudia, our favorite yogi, she made a video just for you girls. It's about 20 minutes. So uh, we think we will, um, we're undecided yet, but we might play that at the end. It'll definitely be on the website for you. So if you want to get on something comfy, invite your family to join with you. It'd be a nice, relaxing way to stretch out for everybody next week. And don't forget to practice, 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 practice. We have gone over putting and chipping and pitching and now full swing. So I don't want to hear, I don't want anybody's parents telling me that their daughter told them they're bored because they have to stay home. They're bored because there's nothing to do. There is so much to do. There are so many fun different things you can do with this silly game of golf to entertain yourself. So nobody, nobody should be getting bored during, um, during our stay at home time, which hopefully will be coming to an end soon. So, um, and Erica, anything that I'm missing? Anything anybody else wants to add? I think just a reminder to um, send in the clap videos. Please, 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 please. Yes, we definitely. And then if anybody has um, finished, you know, any other bingos or... Um, Dance parties. Say it again. Dance parties. Dance parties, yes. We want dance party videos. Dancing is a great way to exercise. It's a fun way to exercise, too. Yeah, so. And we have some special videos next week from Kaya and her family, so. Yeah. Yes, so. Well, thank you girls very much for joining us again. Like I said, if we had real live traditional girls golf, it would probably be canceled or we would be inside tonight. So um, we're glad we got to share this time with you. Please reach out to us if you need anything. We are very happy to help and we are looking forward to exercising with you next week. Bye girls. Bye. Bye.